click funnels. I think it's really where it's headed. As far this as this gotta be, bro. Crazy. All right, my following went here. My income went here. I don't gotta be sleeping on the couch in the studio. <laughs> Learn all the smartest. Shit. Right. Educate myself on how are people selling the most beats nice. right now. Oh man, that's what's up, yeah, bro. Yeah. I think everything happens for a reason. Yeah, what's good? What's up, man? Yeah, cool. He's got in town and shit. Yeah, yeah. What studio is this? Oh, uh, this Sunny studio. Oh, okay. Yeah, dope, yeah. dope. Bro, Dylan. What's up, man? Uh, Malik. My girl had to stay home. You from up in Michigan, too? Yeah. Oh, oh, Lancey, Michigan. Michigan. Hey, the white boy, he's, he's from Detroit. Are you white? Yeah. Right. yeah. You're not Italian. anything else? Italian. Just Italian. That's what, like, me, when I tell everyone I'm from uh, New York and shit, they think I'm from New York City. New York City, yeah. Lex Luger and Shorty Red. Shout out to them. That was a while ago. That was back when we still had the office. Shit, man. Uh, another dope episode in the books, man. Huh? Yeah, this is a 27 minute episode, too. Sign up. <laughs> <laughs> what the f So this is what we're about to do, y'all. We're about to go through all the beats from the Chase the Money contest, finally. And we're gonna pick the winner of the Chase the Money collab. Dylan on the beat. Little Rath music, shout out to you. You know that? Little Rath. Hmm. I want to get my phone. Hey, can I go out to the car and come yeah, back nah. in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, chill out. 2014 laptop. Uh, Damn! Yeah. yeah, that was a roast, right? It really was. And he got the roast I care. Go ahead. You might either want to use a, a more full sound. Was that the dude from the last beat? No, nah, this is the dude with the purple eggplant emojis. Came uh, in, yeah, so true, true. I, 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 I feel the vibe, I feel the vibe, but from the producer, I got mixed reviews, so I just started. Straight buns, garbage, <laughs> garbage, garbage. <laughs> Damn, they gonna tell you the truth. What'd you think, bro? Like, uh, it's like a seven. seven. A seven? Seven. That's seven. fair. Uh, the the, the winner's so gotta be a ten. The mix on that one was a little bit off. Yo, go next, bro. Yo. Oh, uh oh, here we go. Go on, here we go. Like engineers, big video directors. I think, yeah, video directors would be tight, like, especially your lane. Like, you know, shot by Spencer. Yeah. He's down here. We did it. We did an interview with him. Like, yep, I remember seeing that. The artist that connected him with Kevin Gates, his name is Burden. So, Burden did a feature with Kevin Gates. And he shot the video. Met Kevin Gates, got plugged in. Kevin's right. like, yo, I want you to come on tour with me. He right. did that, and then his life changed. Right. Then he got plugged in with all the paper route. Back like, Urban Michigan. <laughs> I wonder how far Kansas is from Michigan. Probably, like, honestly, I just. Be lying if I said I knew, but I know the number out there. You're on camera. I would say like seven. I like seven. Let me see about seven hours. All right, y'all. We're about to sign out, man. Take me from Michigan, Utah, Kansas to Michigan. Getting directions from Wichita to Lansing. Lansing is where you're at. Yeah. Seventeen. Holy hours. Yes. Actually, eighteen hours. You just use click funnels for this new shit. You definitely did the uh, that 808, right? Yeah, the spins. Yeah. You downloaded it and seen the next step and shit. No, there ain't no real supporter, man. Nah. I even find your comments on what yeah. I, really I'm I'm I heard Click Funnels is like pretty expensive a month. Yeah, it's like 100 bucks a month. That's what we're doing. I'm doing a, a podcast tomorrow with, have you heard of MP Beats? MP Beats Proud? Yeah, that dude. Click Funnels and uh, crazy. So on the outside looking in, I thought he was failing. I seen his Facebook ad and it was like $20, get 50 beats, unlimited streams, and all sorts of shit. And I'm thinking, damn, man, it's, it's the whole yeah, it's, it's stupid. That's Right, and every comment's like, you're an idiot, you're ruining the game, you're stupid, and a bunch of ha-has, right? So I didn't think it was doing good for him. But then I talked to him, and he said, yo, bro, I'm making like three to five hundred dollars a day, bro. Fucking shit's working so good. People be like, yo, like, I don't believe it's what it I is. It, I think it's really where it's headed. As far this as it's gotta be, bro. Crazy, bro. It's got to be. Like, yeah, right, no so, like when you think about you it, can it's grab like, 10 a day. it's like, damn. Bro, you gotta get in now, type 
Because then, like, I feel like in six months, that shit's gonna start to get saturated. Nah, you ain't gotta get 50 probably like 30 years, bro. 30 probably like two years, years, honestly. Two years? 30 beats, $20. Two, two years, bro. Yeah. What did Cash Money AP say about, like, the online beats selling shit? Well, Cash Money AP's not even on ClickFunnels. What's the future selling beats online? And he started basically just be like, I feel like everyone's gotta do something different. Everyone's doing the cartoons, everyone's doing the YouTube shit. And I was like, well, we did the game shit about what have you heard of, like, selling beats through funnels. He's like, nah. And I was like, well, this dude claimed you made 1.2 million in a year. Have you ever heard of anybody making that much money off of the way people do it now? He's like, hell no. Nah. He's like, that's a lot of fucking money. He's, yeah. like, he's like, if that's legit, then shout out to bro. He's like, yeah, he's like, I need to link with him. You use like MailChimp and shit? That's what I was gonna ask you. Who are you using for uh, email service? MailChimp. So for this funnel that we're using right now, we're using MailChimp. Now for our kit shit, we use this shit called Matrillo. We're trying to go to active campaign. Yeah, I was with them for seven months. I didn't use it for seven months, but I paid like the $15 a month yeah. for seven months. And I'm like, man, didn't yeah, you didn't know? use it. No, yeah. I just That's time. what AP said in the podcast. He's like, yo, bro, because we're like, do you do any email? Bro, AP doesn't do shit. He never did ads. He never did, and, but he got in in that era. That's though. the yeah, that's yeah, it's different than starting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to do all that. Yeah. He, he built his brand. Bro, like, even outside of like, even outside of like, outside of selling beats, I think every business is moving towards click funnels Fun. and sales. Bro, bro they yeah. have to. Like. It's, but if it's not, if it's not that, they've already implemented. I promise you, bro. They it's already right. blowing your email. Well, it's you, the same. Yeah. Been on it, been on it. People, if you look at Tony Robbins, you look at like Kevin O'Leary, uh, what's it, dude from Shark Tank, all their, so, all their, uh, whenever they have seminars, all of them are set up through ClickFunnels. Every click single funnel. last one of them. Yeah. I've been seeing ClickFunnels for a while too, but I just never knew. Yeah, what it, it was. was a ClickFunnel. I was like, why are these ugly websites? But I would always end up downloading them, whatever was on the ugly website. Listen, I found That's out what? about I found out about ClickFunnels in twenty. 15 or 16. I'll show you this one of this Photoshop for producers. This started in 20, I think top of 2017. Free download. I just used it for the landing page shit and their back end shit. Uh -huh. So it's just like, this is, this is, you know, just set up to, for people to buy into this $9.99 a month to learn Photoshop. You get free templates, you get tutorials, all that shit. Yeah, that's good. I really didn't do it the real fun away. Like I should have been like, oh, you want some free templates? Click here and then send them through the thing. But now I'm like diving all the way into this shit. You know what I mean? Who are you thinking about talking to in the future on the podcast? Kyle Beats, Simon Servita. Maybe dope too. Taz Taylor. Sheesh. I don't think he says he wants to do interviews. Well, he was just saying basically every time I do an interview, people flip my words and turn it negative. So he's like, I'm done doing interview. But shit, I would do it. For sure. Are you doing Instagram ads? You do ads at all? All day, every day. Have you ever gotten them say like, oh, there's more than 25% text? Yeah. So I kept doing it. And eventually one day I went to do an ad and they're like, your account's banned. And like, so I, to this day? Yeah, I tried contacting them multiple times and they're like, yo, no. No, no, no. So you know how your Instagram has to be attached to a Facebook page. Yeah. So I've made a new Facebook, totally new Facebook that I can run ads on, but I can't connect that to my Instagram so because you right. can't unconnect Same. the the frozen account. Yours banned? Hell yeah. They might have Why? fucking banned me because I'm affiliated with him. I don't know. <laughs> What about like Google ads for the YouTube videos? That's what I just, like I that Google, beat that you were just playing. I sampled the new Joker movie that came mm -hmm. out on yeah. Friday. They made a beat out of it. Well, right now I'm doing some Google ads on the YouTube video. Is it working? Yeah. Is it's it, like, is it? every time I do ads, it works, but like, I'm trying to figure out a way to where it's like, to grow without doing ads. Yeah. Like, what I was gonna, what I was gonna say was, listen, are you making more than what you're spending on ads? On the ads, no. I'm doing the ads for exposure. You so know, it's more so like just getting my content seen. You know how you're talking about the beats and shit, right? Like, you talking about the free beats and shit. So you paying for the ads, right? Mm -hmm. You have like the free, look, get 10 free beats, right? Like, get five free beats. You paying for the ads, right? Mm -hmm. And people like, oh, 10 free beats, bro. You're acquiring customers for that deal. So if you, let's say you spend $100 that day and you have 400 people, 400 people download the free beats. And the next day they got the follow up email saying this. 30 beats for twenty dollars, and you get ten percent. Forty people to buy that deal. You know what I'm saying? That's why you make it five hundred a day. You know what I'm saying? That's what the ads are for. Basically, ads are just the that, customer acquisition. Bro, yeah, yeah, that's bro. I was watching Shark Tank, bro. I'm, I'm you gonna send, there. You want to send people to a landing page and collect their emails. Yeah, and then you want to keep talking to them. Yeah. You're acquiring a customer. Yeah, I'm about to change my beat because right now on my beat site, it's you, you can download the beats for free in exchange for like following me on Twitter and subscribing yeah, to YouTube, I'll, or I'll you can switch it to, to email. To email, yeah. Yeah, you do yeah, that. Yeah, 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 because I, I was on that to follow me on the so like Twitter and yeah, but they, they block your engagement unless you ban and also too You can't monetize a follower you can Facts. monetize an email you can't And then the, e the email thing that's like a save for later because I still be like sending producers to the email list Like let's say I drop I drop a kid or some shit or you got two different lists though Yeah, like let, you know what I'm saying? Just save it for later. You know what I'm saying? All people how many how many free downloads a day are you getting on um your beat store? I so that's why when I said I was paying for seven months of the email shit and I didn't use it, 
So I haven't uploaded beats since October of last year, and I used to always like say to people, because I still would go live and make beats, but as far as like, I wasn't sure. When I came here a year ago, I learned a lot of shit just from, so I think me and you linked up, and then I went to the Beat Stars event right after, and then I was talking to Cash Money AP, who taught me the most was Dylan Graham. He's crazy on the piano, he's from Toronto, Canada. He had moved to Atlanta a year ago, and then now he lives in Florida. Oh, well. Abe was the one that was like, you want to talk to that dude? Because I was just saying, uh, you know, my girlfriends walk around with the camera, so I was telling them, you know, I'm from Michigan, I'm just getting Getting content, you know, vlogging, meeting people, networking. It's like, oh yeah, you know, make sure you talk to Dylan over here. Dylan was telling me that, because he was a speaker at the Beat Stars. It was like Kato, DJ, Payne, Dream Life or something. Yeah. And then Dylan, he was saying that he's done the YouTube shit, he's done the Facebook ads, he's done all the different things. And he hasn't uploaded beats on none of those things. And he doesn't focus on any of his social media. He makes a living, like well over six figures, and it's all from his email list. Yeah. Same thing about Gabe, bro. Oh. Gabe has 2,000 followers. I believe it. And he has a, he made a million off of those. So he said followers. he sends out one email a week every Tuesday. And so he said he uploads like sometimes it'll be one beat sometimes it'll be five beats But it's like every Tuesday he drops new beats So he sends out an email every Tuesday and then some weeks he'll send out a second email later in the week If he comes across like something that's helpful for rappers a YouTube video That's like Gary V giving a tip about yeah. social media, you know, mm -hmm. he'll be like yo You guys should check this out. The but, real real way though is text. Mm -hmm. SMS. Right. That's, 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 that's gonna that's gonna be when no, the emails Facebook die down too. You're still gonna have SMS. Way better open rate cuz email open rate like if you get 30% open rate or email that's amazing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but like text rate you're gonna get like 90 percent okay rate. i was that's thinking about mini chat the face yeah that's who yeah i want to experiment with that because gabe like i had i met gabe i don't know if you know how we got a discord our producer on discord you know what discord is right it's like video games yeah, yeah it's like, chat. but anyways it's like a platform it's like it's like you have your own kind of social media and gabe had joined it and he was like he was like yo i'm a producer that made 1.2 million dollars blah, blah, blah. i'm like oh haha you're gonna try to sell us on your course now <laughs> and he's like nah no course blah 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 but this what? is before he had the course <laughs> <laughs> when did when was this? This was in April. Today. Okay. Yeah. So like I'm. So then, but he's like, yo. Then he DM me and he's like, yo, man. Um, he's like, I love to just talk about you. Love the. I love to talk with you. I love the brand. Well, so I got on a video call with him, and then he just completely changed my mind because I thought at first he was just coming in the Discord to like spam shit. Yeah. And then I was like, oh shit. And he just like started giving me game about just like shit we could be doing differently. So I just been staying in contact with him ever since April. And then when I seen him post that two comma club, shit, I'm like, oh. Shit. Now we gotta get you on the podcast for sure. Like, you know what I mean? like okay, the cap has been disproven. Yeah, the cap is, he's not capping no more. You guys fuck with uh, Steve and Drew, the schematics? I never met him. Yeah, well, Drew, he he wore the Beatmaker shirt in one of their last videos. Oh, yeah, I seen you see that. Your guys' podcast and their podcast. And then Kyle Beats, he's got a podcast too. Those are the three podcasts. Their podcast, that I listen to. Yeah, very dope. Who else has a podcast in the game? Is really pay more? Quality, though. Oh, the Skype and shit? Yeah. Makes it hard to watch, right? Yeah. I was talking to him about trying to figure out what's the best video calling app to get the best quality. Honestly, why don't you screen record an iPhone? Everyone's got FaceTime. And just guaranteed FaceTime. high quality. Yeah, but if they got their phone, if they're on their phone and they're and they're on a Wi-Fi, it's not going to be that clear. I mean, that's not too hard to get them in a place with Wi-Fi. Like, yo, just have your phone set up like this at eye level. Show them a basic setup. I remember you interviewed King Drum Dummy like years ago, and it was yeah. like a speakerphone type of thing where it was just like a picture the whole time, like how he yeah. makes it. Yeah, yeah. I listen to the whole shit because yeah. the message right. of yeah. it, you just seen the dollar amount. And so that's, I wasn't trying to draw attention by like putting like dollar amounts out there. But last night, you know, we were trying to get ideas to take advantage of like where we're staying and like nice scenery. Like I want to get as much content as I can while I'm out here. Yeah. I was like, well, here, let me soak up some game, look up some of these other successful producers or videographers and look at their most popular videos on YouTube. And sure enough, like top five on every person I went to, they had a dollar amount in there. Like. Mm. How I make a hundred thousand a year selling that's, beats, that's, or how to make a hundred thousand a year shooting right videos, how to make a hundred thousand doing this. So I'm like, Dang. but you know, it's it, but you have to be careful with that too because a lot of times those videos that are already up there have already reached their like peak level success. So everyone that's trying to come up and do the, use those same tactics, people aren't gonna click on those because they're already oversaturated. And now whenever I see someone post like how I make three thousand dollars a month selling beats, how I yeah, make you 10, can't, yeah, 15, you I'm like, over. I skip over them because Fast. it's not, it's something. Whatever the next wave is, that has already passed. The dollar I was already passed. It's on to something else. That's a good point. And on YouTube, like how I made, and they never, like, I never. I don't click on. I, I, I think like recreating yourself still is good with your own twist because like i know myself in particular like i get asked stuff like that in dms and shit. 
every single day. So like how to name, how to title. Well, just YouTube. like one was like, how do you quit your job to start doing it? Or like, at what Sheesh. point did you know that you should quit your job and go full time with it? Like that's the one that I probably get now, at now least titles. twice a day. How long ago did you do it? Um, it's been ten years. Word. Damn. So I'm 31. When I was 21, that was when I had a job. Sheesh. So like, no, that's dope. That's what, same a, for me too. Like a new transition yeah. for I think for our titles is what I've been clicking on more. Is more of a per, like when people relate a personal story in it. At this moment, this is when I quit my job to pursue music. There I'll you click go. on that now versus this is how I click quit my job or things of that nature. Right? Or like how how I make a living shooting music videos or yeah. how I make a living yeah, selling exactly. beats, like things like that. Exactly. So you do a lot of everything, right? Like you do yeah, videos. Yeah. So that's why my story is different because I need all of them. I own a studio, so that's an hourly fifty dollars an hour, and I need that. If I close down the studio, now my income's lower, and I need all aspects. Well, then I, I sell beats to people. I shoot a lot of music videos. I shoot weddings. I shoot business commercials. And they I have an online the CD duplication company. Without one, then I'm, I'm short. But usually it's like next week, studio time might be a little slow, but I might shoot three videos that week instead mm -hmm. of one. And then mm -hmm. the next week, I might not shoot any videos, but I do 20, 30 hours of studio time. And, right, right. And, and then like your, your studio clients might get a video. You might do a video. My, st my studio, my studio is like my icebreaker for like future income. Right, 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 right. Every time I'm in the studio with artists, like it's just a question like, yo, what are you about to do with this? Uh, shit, what should I do? If I was you, you for sure shoot a video. Right, right. Shit. How much you want for a video? Can you do something next week? And so a lot of my income is coming from that. That's why I knew if I lived somewhere like Atlanta, because I, I live in Lansing, Michigan. Like, how many famous rappers do you know from Lansing, Michigan? But None. you're big fish in a small pond there, though. True. True. But like 90% of my clientele isn't from Lansing. So I'm, oh. I'm bringing in people from like Detroit, oh. Cleveland, Grand Rapids, Flint, Saginaw. So they're driving an hour to two hours. So dang, bro. Yeah. What's the population of Lansing? Do you know that? Mm, it's not, it's it. way smaller than here. Lansing's big, but it's small because we got Michigan State right next to it. Yeah, Michigan so, State University. So that's so, like a huge 60,000 plus. Yeah, we got, but it's like a lot of those students aren't from Lansing. Yeah, so I, I do a lot of traveling, but perfect world. I would move down here and do what I'm doing in Michigan here. And I know it's more competitive and stuff like that, but it's the same process that I did in Michigan. It's just tomorrow night I'm linking up. It's my first customer. So in Michigan, getting my hair cut, telling my barber that I'm crack lack, the white dude that makes beats and shit. And then, oh, I got to do that raps. And so I had one customer. I was telling him the, the deal I gave him 15 years ago was like $300. And I made 15 beats for him, recorded a mix, 15 songs, shot a music video, <laughs> Dang. did a photo shoot, designed his artwork and everything. It was like my guinea pig, $300. And it came out and then some of his friends seen it. And I had five customers. Mm -hmm. Then I had 10 customers. Then I had 100 and then just kind of took over my home. But I was still poor. Yeah. That's once I started doing online shit and selling beats online and then selling beats to people in fucking Australia and London and China, World Wide Web, is, that's what changed my shit. And then so like with music videos, now I'm forced to fly down here, fly to different places to just go and make enough money. If you were to move to Atlanta, you'd probably want to target those type of people first and then yeah. the ranks. Are they like real serious, like about <laughs> making it big or is it so, so many? Like every year my prices go up. And so that's why 90% of my clientele now is outside of my hometown. And when 100% of my clientele was home, I was getting like two, three hundred dollars for a music video type. That's, again, I was poor. Studio time back then was like 20. 25 hour, you know? I was poor, but my clientele was all my city. I was, I was a product of my environment. So now, from taking trips and branching out and shit, building my following and presence, so now when I say it's like, my studio is called the Crack House, the home of Crackalac. Mm -hmm. Here's Crackalac's information and Instagram and YouTube and subscribers, and I use those numbers and so to my advantage. Like, so and like you kind of like draw expand. people in. You like expand to what's your like. You started here, but then like you expanded to like different types of markets. Yeah, like so I was talking to my girl about it because I was saying that next week when I go back, I was telling him I'm gonna have to branch out even more to get to the next right. level because like every year I can see all right my following went here, my income went here. Okay. Okay, now we're at 2017. Right. All right, now my following went here. Now my income went here. What's next for me is that I was saying a lot of people don't value certain things, but I always look at it like there's levels to everything. So like the bottom level rapper is trying to spend like $100, $200 on a music video. There's bottom level camera guys that shoot videos for $100, $200. Right. Then you got the next level up. The guys that are 500 to 1,000 type more serious camera guys. They got more skills. They got better equipment, better experience 
you know, they do better videos. And you got those rappers that value videos that much, like, shit, yeah, I need to spend 500. I, I know I get a better video in they, their career, or they might make more money than the upcoming rapper that has zero income from music type shit. So just trying to level up. And that's why, I, like, I started doing weddings last year. And accident of a lady seeing a music video that I did in Pittsburgh and I, I used to always to really get out there with music videos let's say tomorrow to the music video here in Atlanta I would post the preview you know like the 30 60 second preview on my Instagram and I would target people that live in Atlanta job titles as rapper rap artist hip-hop type or interested in like world star hip-hop that piff XXL magazine just kind of rapper people and I would target Atlanta within well, if I shot a music video in Cleveland Ohio I would post the music video target people around Cleveland, Ohio, that vicinity. So from doing that, that's how I've got a lot of, it's like every time I drop and post a new music video, I get a flush of DMs mm -hmm. from that. What's your average price for a music video right now? Probably like five, 600. But just last year it was like 400, three, 400. Like when I was here last year, I did a couple videos, they're all $400. This year they're like five, 600. Come back next year, hopefully they're closer to a thousand-ish, you know? Right, right. So you're starting to like, start to tap into those guys that are taking their career. Yeah, exactly. Series. Like, so I always make myself a flyer with just like pricing how much is the music video you know, it, it's a range and so now I'm a website too and I have a Facebook pixel so if I wanted to I could like retarget them yeah. with ads and shit like that I have a so cracklackbeats.com and then there's a book me and then it says studio time that takes them to my studio website there's mm -hmm. a book music video that takes them to a landing page and it's got a couple pictures of me holding the Ronin gear cool shit it, it describes each like how I price things what else do I bring to the table I always hire another photographer to do behind the scenes pictures to make us both look good I always get behind the scenes video footage I put it in my vlog and I promote it on my YouTube with this many subscribers and this many followers I post all the behind the scenes pictures and tag you in it so you know it's because a lot of people that I do work with I guess to describe the customer that you're talking about is like up and coming people that don't have a lot right. going so my resume is my like weakest point so I've been mm, doing it's it not really a for a long time. Oh, I, I like agree with you. Without the big names? Yeah, big names. Yeah. And, and just from my experience, like I've been down here maybe like six, seven times now. So I have been around the bigger artists and that was my like land. Like, okay, I wanted to get to where I make a living doing this shit. All right, now I make a living doing this shit. Now what's next? I don't like when people are like, oh, you, you make beats. Who do you make beats for? Right, right, right. Knowing that you know. Yeah, right, right. facts. That's what, I that's what I was telling him. To, to give you right. one story, I, I was in Atlanta a 3C week three years ago. I go to this studio. I won't like name drop, but there was big artists from down here. Then there was also big artists from Detroit, Michigan, like where I'm from. One of the biggest dudes was like my goal to get in and produce with. And, and like I was, I was thinking the next level for me is instead of shooting music videos and selling beats to like, I guess, unknown up and coming people that you guys don't know, do it for familiar names. Like, you know, build my resume. Yeah, I walk in the studio. This, this dude happened to be from Michigan too. He had known me. So we start collabing on some beats. I find out that he shoots videos too. The big dude from Michigan that I'm like, his goals for me, he starts pulling up music videos of the dude, three million views, one million views. And I, I hear his beat tag, I see his logo in the beginning of the video, so I'm like, yo, this dude is doing what I'm trying to do, what I think that I'm gonna do next. We start exchanging, conversating. When it's time for me to leave the studio, he stays there, he's washing up, brushing his teeth, he sleeps on the couch. So for me, that was a, uh, okay, that route is up uh, yeah. maybe maybe he did bad business right a couple more stories with some artists down here I mean, what you're saying is, is messed up because he has three million views but he's not able maybe to he just own. isn't as an entrepreneur and you doesn't know how to capitalize on that type but of thing. that's that's most yeah. bro in atlanta you gotta understand that bro when i started working at Lighthouse, that's when i started realizing most producers who really making moves and stuff like struggling yeah, yeah. struggling like worse than us but i think bro. it's mostly internal Right, because they don't have their stuff set yeah. up, their business set up. Like, like they got you're all just the saying, like how you got your website and all that set up. I know for a fact, but like, if you plugged in some of those bigger names, I know you'd be able to run with it. It's like you got the you system. Yeah, exactly. It's, yours is working though. Your system's working, right? So well, I don't think that dude is probably as business minded as you. I don't know. That would just be my assumption because. I feel like if I'm around any of those type of dudes, I'm gonna know how to turn that into some money for myself. Right. At least I don't gotta be sleeping on the couch in the studio. <laughs> it's like they, they they don't have like a fuel for their fire. Like they're, they're not burning wood. They just burning like pouring more gasoline on it. Like with the bigger name artists, so it's like yeah, it looks like a big fire, but there's really nothing fueling it. No, I feel what you said. I w I would know how to take that. Like like let's right. say Waka Flocka rapped on my beat and he ripped me off free. I didn't get no money. Right. I could take that and make a lot of money off exactly. of it from yeah. everyone. Exactly. I'd make here. a funnel. Yo, and do it behind the beat. With Waka oh, Flocka, yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you, the the you want the free kit, man? Go ahead, click the, the click funnel. Then the next thing is another. You know right. what I mean? Like, yeah, it, official it's kit used in Waka Flocka video yeah. or Waka yeah, Flocka yeah. song. Imagine putting that.
in the funnel. Right. And talking about getting uh, 23 Bs. Every, you're going to have a fucking 80% rate. But what, 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 what is that? That's like, 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 that's that's not the next step for you. What is that? So, we shot it in. There are some good higher name people. And then, and I, like, like Ritz. You know who Ritz is? Yes, Ritz. You know who Ritz is. You got to search him right here. I'm not R-I-T-Z? R-I-T-T-Z. You guys know who Ritz is? Crackers? Nah. He's from Michigan? No, he's from Atlanta. So Burden, I linked with a few years ago with an artist from Detroit that I work with all the time named Basic. So Basic did a song with Burden. Gotcha. I met Burden, so now- Burden's an artist. Burden's an artist from Tampa, Florida. And then Spencer linked with Kevin through Burden. Shooting his video. Gotcha. So kind of like the same thing with me. So Burden got Ritz to do a feature. That's the guy we were just looking up. And so, yeah, Burden had me shoot the video. So now I met Ritz. And then you linked with Ritz. That's, yeah. Gotcha. But yeah, that's the you video. You been working with Ritz? No, I'm trying to. I still like directed the video, shot the video, edited the video. We took the finished video, sent it off to him, and then he started taking steroids. And <laughs> so like, like Rich's head lights on fire. There's a shot where I show some barbed wire, and he makes the barbed wire like bend and stuff. Yeah, that's the hard. The joint right there, he's got it. Yeah, that's all right. It was always off and on. But I did notice too that my uploading schedule was always off and on. So when I would get consistent and upload a new beat, say Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon, and I would have it scheduled out. So five months straight, I'm uploading. Yeah. I started making some money. And then, you know, the schedule would run out. I wouldn't, uh, didn't take the time to like redo the schedule and keep right. uploading. So I fall off for two months and then I start uploading like 20 at one time. And you play catch Sell a couple. And then, yeah, months go by. So I was just trying to like learn all the smartest yeah. Right. educate myself on how are people selling the most beats right now and then get like a, a game business plan right. set up and so like my girl i taught her how to upload my beats how to upload the them to youtube make the the beat with the picture the title yeah i'm just trying to 2020 would just be like i'm trying to hire this dude full time to really help me because i've always just been a one-man band so all my content i'm making myself editing myself studio ideas time. i'm doing myself studio time i'm, I'm there recording mixing yeah, the stuff so you Everything. Never, you never thought about getting an engineer out of this? Yeah, now for sure. It's good. What's good, what's up, 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 what's up,